Okay, so my favorite question and in fact a lot of people in the field struggle with this as well because at the end of the day what matters to you as an end user and as a performance engineer is how much throughput you your end users are getting or how much throughput your clients are getting or you if you're using the network yourself are able to get and the question usually comes up is how can you improve throughput if throughput is bad and usually by default we associate if throughput is bad there can be bad rf coverage yes there is a correlation between them poor rf service and bad throughput but then that's not it in fact throughput is a cumulative effect of the overall network resources and services meaning core network is also involved into it the ran network is involved into it u is also involved into it and the number of users so it's a hodgepodge of a number of things so that all resources combined together does define the end user throughput so it's not always the case if throughput is bad rf coverage will be bad that could not be the case always it could be but not all the time and that's why if we think about what are the different things you need to look for when it comes to throughput then the five things you can take a look for specifically is you can take a look when it comes to throughput one thing is peak performance if your throughput is not giving the peak performance as it should be based on a certain network conditions that means yes something is wrong with the network you need to look into what is causing the network not to have the peak performance number one the other thing is block error rate so block error rate will tell you that if block error rate is high that means your throughput can be affected and that will give you hints or indication into what could be the cause of this and if you look into the cause of causing high block error rate that will also give you an idea why throughput is not uh, better or improved at that particular instant of time number three session establishment time so if your session establishment times are taking longer that will also have an effect on throughput and those session establishment time depends on your e node b parameters so so if your parameters are audited correctly their values are uh, set correctly then in that case the session establishment time should have the values which should give better or high throughput as well but if your session establishment times are not according to what you expect that will also have an effect on throughput number four latency and delay in cell transition so that can have an effect on throughput because latency means if the network is loaded a lot that can be an effect on latency or if your transport network is not functioning according Accordingly, there is congestion there that can be a cause of latency delay in cell transition can mean a number of things if your mobility kps are not acting accordingly that can result in delay in cell transition too so that's another factor you need to take into account because that will have an effect on throughput and finally number five is you need to look at the end-to-end -end network performance why end-to-end -end network performance because ultimately as i said initially throughput is an overall outcome or an aggregate of the overall network health if all of the network is good the end users will do get good throughput unless you if you are the only user in the network then of course uh, all the resources are available you can get a lot more good throughput assuming if all the resources in the network are acting accordingly but those are the five things which i mentioned you can take a look to starting with when it comes to throughput